This painting is called After the Deluge. It's magnificently simple and yet incredibly compelling. It shows the sun rising over the floodwaters where all life on earth was wiped out apart from Noah, his family and his ark of animals. Its warm, restorative orange and yellow and red rays feel like they're bringing life back to earth. The rays almost seem to transcend the canvas. They almost seem to go beyond the frame and warm us. Time, death and judgment shows time striding forwards as a blind athlete holding a scythe. And next to him, death, his partner. He's got flowers which represent the souls of the dead. In their wake rises judgment and the scales can be seen behind the head of time. Hope is probably Watts's best known image. So evocative, so enigmatic. It's given hope to many people and has had enormous resonance throughout time and it's Barack Obama's favourite painting. The Watts Studios opened in 2016 in the east wing of Limnesleys, the former home of George and Mary Watts. The house had a very unusual name, Limna, the medieval name for an artisan, and Lease because George and Mary hoped this home would give them a new lease of creative life together. The GF Watts studio is where George created many of his works in later life. It's a south-facing studio because it was designed to be used in the winter, and we have a replica of the winching mechanism that George would have used to raise and lower his larger compositions. We have returned paintings that would have once been on display and combined that with a selection of original studio furniture, paintbrushes, paint palettes, to really give the visitor a sense of what it used to be like when George was painting in there. The Compton Gallery provides an introduction to the life that George and Mary built here in Surrey. One of the items on display are these cast hands, which were made on George and Mary's wedding day. With the creation of the studios, we were finally able to dedicate an entire gallery to the work of Mary Watts, where we can really look at her as an artist in her own right. She was a painter, a potter, a sculptor and a designer. This is a replica of Mary's greatest artistic achievements, the Watts Chapel and we have this fantastic touch table that allows visitors to really explore the making processes behind the beautiful finished interior. When you walk into Watts Chapel, you see a hugely ornate and beautiful interior made from decorative gesso panels. Mary was interested in collaboration of all faiths, which is something you see in lots of her artwork. These small flower decorations around the lower sections were actually made by school children from the local village. Watts Gallery Artist Village consists of several different buildings, all of which are interlinked. The thing about Watts is that even now, 200 years since his birth, he still has something to say. His art still speaks to us today. He wanted it to play a social role. And he still has the power to move us.